Hello children, welcome to CA session. Today we will continue the same chapter, chapter 9, presentation tool, Open Office Impress. Students, Impress is a software which allows you to create presentations. In presentation, we used to create slides. So in each slide, there are some components which are visible to the audience and some are not. So here students, today we will study some basic elements of the slides which are visible on the slide. So first of all, there is a title. Title will be a descriptive heading. If you want to give heading to the uh, slide and then audience can easily understand that what exactly the slide is about. Then subtitle. Subtitle will be a descriptive message below the title. It will display, uh, it will give a brief description of the slides. Then drawing objects on the screen. In drawing objects, we can include auto shapes, curves, lines, word arts, etc. Then clip art and picture. Clip art you already know. It is already existing gallery in any software. Like in MS Word there is a clip art. In open office suit also it comes with collection of its own picture in the library. So here there will be clip art which we can use. Now slide components used for references. Now students if we are creating the slide. In the beginning we used to see it in the normal view. But if we have created so many slides, let it be 25 slides or more than that, then we will not be able to see all the slides in one page. Or we, do, we cannot add extra content. On every slide, there is a limited space. And if you want to add extra, we cannot do it in the normal view. And you might have seen that sometimes the picture and text is there. If we have to prepare the slide or if we have to prepare the presentation, or we have to revise the content that we have to speak to the audience, that we have to tell to the audience, then there are some views that we can use. So here slide components used for reference, we can say different types of views are there in which we can get our presentation. Now first of all handouts. Now students, if there are 25 slides in the presentation then you will have to scroll each and every slide or if you have to print it then you will get 25 pages every slide will be in a single page so if you want to give it to the audience then it will be actually a time consuming and it will waste paper also if you want to give your presentation to the audience then it is best to get the print out of the handout of your presentation so students handout is actually the Compressed version of the slides printed for the audience. Now what happens when you are printing the presentation at that time at the bottom left you will get one option of printing the handout. So students whenever you want to print the presentation it is better to always print it in the handout form. Select the handout in the printing properties and then there you will get options like 6 slides on a page or 2 slides on a page or 9 slides on a page. So according to that it will be adjusted. If we are taking maximum 9 slides in a page then 9 on one side, 9 on the back side. That means 18 slides on a single page. So this way you can save pages also and it is the best option to distribute your presentation among the audience. Now speaker notes. Speaker notes will contain the slide and the text below the slide printed on a page. Now what happened? In the slide we can put the content that we want to show to the audience. But below the same slide, if we are using the notes page, okay, if we are using speaker notes, then in this view, we will be able to enter additional text in it, which the audience will not be able to see. It will be for our reference. Like what happens, like if you have to prepare for the seminar in which you have to explain the presentation and if you want to add more content to the slide, so that you can prepare for it. You can simply review or you can simply check what you have to speak in front of the audience. At that time you can add speaker notes for every slides below it. When you will choose a speaker notes a text area will appear below the slides in which you can enter the text. Additional text that you have to explain to the audience. It is for your reference only for your understanding and learning. So here in speaker notes students, what will happen in every slide, whenever you will print the slide, uh, the slide will be printed at the top and below that additional notes that you have added will be printed. But here a single page will be printed. 
Now outline. In outline, it displays only titles and main text. Now students, if you want to distribute the presentation to the audience, at that time if you want that only the text should be visible. Only you want to give the outline of the presentation. So all headings, main text, etc. will be printed on it. Okay, you will be able to see only text in the outline view. Not the pictures. Now students, we will discuss about what all can you create in Empress. Now we can create presentations but we can use it in different ways. So students here, first of all on screen presentation, you know very well in this. You can simply create a presentation and then after that you can show it to the audience. It can be shown on the computer screen in the full screen mode or you can also show it on the projector. Then students, it can be used for web pages, for web use. Now what happens once you have created pictures and you have added animations, timings and custom animations, you have inserted graphics etc. It looks so attractive. Then after that you can keep that presentation in the website. So now it will work as a web page. Whenever user will click on it, user will be able to download your presentation or will be able to see your presentation. Then overhead transparency. Overhead transparency can be there like if you are printing the slides in black and white you can print. If you want then you can design your presentation in the landscape or portrait form also. Then color and black and white paper printouts. Now here in this we can design our presentation in such a way that when we take printout it means color printout of it or black and white printout of it then it looks so attractive. Now 35 mm slides. You have seen there is only 35 mm slides but it is of great use. You can insert lots of information over the slide with title, subtitle, te main text, pictures, graphics, tables, charts, audio, video, shapes, auto shapes, smart arts, word arts etc. You can make it attractive. Then note Hand notes, handouts and outlines can be done. So I have already told you about speaker notes, handouts and outlines. The speaker notes will allow you to insert additional content below your slide so that you can revise the content uh, before starting your presentation or you can simply review of it at the time of presentation also. Now handouts. In handouts, I have already told you a compressed version in which you will be able to see small thumbnails of the slides in a single page. There can be maximum 9 slides in a, max in a single page. Then on the next page it will be 9 again. That means 18 slides on A4 size paper. On a single A4 size paper. Now outlines. So in outline we can simply print out the, you can see only the outlines of the text not the pictures like if you want to uh, distribute it among the audience and you want them or more, maximum to be concentrated on this uh, content then at that time you can use outline view. Now creating new presentation. Earlier also I told you while creating new presentation in Empress we will be having two options empty presentations and from template. Now how these options appear? You have to click on file in the menu bar in menus at the top you will be having menus below the title bar you have to click on the first menu that is file menu in file menu you have to choose the option new then after that a sub menu will appear in which you have to choose option presentation when you click on presentation then the presentation wizard will appear a presentation wizard will open it will be like a pop up so then there you will be able to see these two methods, empty presentation and from tablet. So whichever method you want to choose, you can choose. So we will start from empty presentation. Now students, we will learn to create presentation in Impress. So when we create click down file, then in new, then presentation, then presentation wizard will appear. In that wizard, we have to choose empty presentation. In the beginning, I am telling you about empty presentation because we have two options there, empty presentation and from the tablet. So when we choose empty presentation, then in the beginning, you have to click on the next button. Now in step 2, 
you will get the options select a slide design and select an output medium okay so in select a slide design again you will get two options it is there in the presentation wizard only and this is the second step so selecting a slide design will be having a drop down in drop down you will have two options when you will select a presentation background then first option will be original original means there is no background then in that you will get various options to put the background border etc so you can choose from there now second option that is there in the drop down is presentation okay in selecting a slide design there is a drop down where you will get two options in the drop down so this is the second option when you select the presentation then in the text area below it these three options will appear original okay so whatever is the original a slide design will appear and these are some already created formats you can use and you can change the content of it to make your presentation just after selecting the slide design there is one option selection output medium now here you can simply select the screen by default screen is selected you can select the screen if you want to show the presentation on the computer screen and then after that you can click on next button now step 3 will appear in the presentation wizard in step 3 you will get three options so effects speed and presentation type if you want to give effects to your presentation like wipe in or any other effect to your presentation uh, whenever we change the slide it comes with the transition after that there is a speed if you want to set the speed of the presentation you can use the speed option in presentation type we will get two options default and automatic in default we have to change the slide manually at the time of presentation and in automatic you will have to choose the time okay you will have to give the time in the text box that you will choose automatic the text boxes will be enabled and there you will be able to enter the time for slides now students we will study about creating first slide now if we have to create the first slide we will be able to see title and subtitle only in the first slide so if you want to add more content picture etc then we will have to change the layout of it so there is free package layout available in the layout section you can choose layout from there now what is layout layout is organized set of elements using which new slides can be created so whatever slide is given apart from that if you want to add new slides with a different design that different design means different arrangements of elements will be there on the slide so that we can insert text audio video charts tables etc according to the elements stay there given there in the layouts so now students i will tell you how to apply the layout i have told you about task pane task pane is there on the right side so in that you have to choose layout section in task pane you have to choose layout section different types of layouts will appear you can select any layout that you want to choose okay so you can choose any layout that you want in your presentation then it will appear in the workspace and you will be able to put content according to the elements then adding layout and title and subtitle now there will be different elements like title subtitles picture table charts etc there will be small icon for pictures uh, charts tables auto shapes etc so you can click on it and you can insert the object uh, and for the title and subtitle you have to double click when you will click inside it the cursor will appear and you can type the content in it you can type the title and you can type the text